Hello everyone, it's Gomzilla1985 here, and today, this is my first Godzilla review on camera, and today's monster is going to be, not Godzilla, but one of my favorites. No, actually, my favorite. And today's monster is... Gomora, the Prince of the Monsters. Yes, guys, this... This monster first appeared in Ultraman in 1966, and the two-part special of the show Ultraman. If you want to learn more history about him, go check out on the the Ultra Wiki online. Um, guys. Um. So yeah. Um. This monster is special that because he is the first one to de to actually defeat Ultraman, not actually destroy him, but defeat him in battle. And this is and this monster is the first cause of a two part episode in Ultraman. Um now on to powers. This monster's powers are a super is a good tail attack, which kinda I don't know exactly, but kinda say it in words, but it really does a lot of damage to other monsters. Um his um nail type things on his shoulders where he can just slash at the enemy and his real power is oh I forgot his pa burrowing power to dig underground but his real power is his um two, these two top horns lighting up and a shockwave beam coming right out of the nasal horn and causing a serious amount of damage and helps him burrow yeah guys um now let's go on to details this figure, um, I can't exactly remember how much it was, but it was a great deal. Um, so yeah, um, details. Um, the arms can move up and down. The, and the legs can move back and forth, back and forth. Head can turn right and left. And if you want, they can turn 360. Same with the arms. And the legs. Well, kind of. Not really, actually. It's hard to. And the tail. Twists. Can go 360. And yeah, guys. Um, Let's get a better look at his like chest area. This does has a lot of detail. It feels even, like, rough. Really nice. Um, Here's the, the, um, the nail part of his, like, not nail, I would say. Horn. Not horn, sorry. <laughs> kind of does look like a, um, well, kind of like a spike, I'm gonna say. Sorry, not nail, spike, I meant to call it. Um, great details on the back, colors, um, teeth, nice horn, eyes. Good that. Got those red squiggly, um, line, um, pattern. Yeah, guys, on um, here is his, um, like some of the stuff on the bottom, like reading and all that. Um. Yeah, guys. Um. Um. Yeah. Like now, it's on to size comparison. The first size comparison is my first Gomorrah figure. Ah, uh, let me get this fixed. There we go. This is him, um, it is my first Gomorra figure, but this is my second, but I wanted to mostly review this guy. This guy looks almost exactly the same, but he's just smaller. Yeah, guys, sing here, basically all that. Like, this is more light, I, this is more black, more brown, more black, basically. Same with the tail and all that. Just the same thing, 360 and all. And the, um, yeah. Except the face. Like, the face kind of looks different a little bit. Yeah, not that much. Just, I guess just a small one. You can barely see the, um, pattern on this one, but more on this one. And now, yeah, on size comparison. It's as tall as, I'd say, about this part of its, this other horn. And, yeah, guys, um, back to back. Side to side. 
this guy's uh, don't mind those post those posters over there. Those this this is my dad's basement kind of. Um, yeah, guys, they kind of look a lot. There, this guy is way taller than this thing, but it's still pretty cool. All right, gotta take this guy go away. My next um size comparison is it's the same size as the other Gamora, but I will review review in a future episode. Ellie King, one of Gomorrah's um, fighting buddies in Ultra Galaxy, Mega Monster Battle in Ultra Galaxy, see Neo, or should I say Never Ending Oasis, and Eo. <laughs> um, not gonna go into detail that much about Ellie King yet, but yeah, these two w were first enemies. Um, Gom Ellie King first defeated Gomorrah in their first fight because he dragged them underwater and Gomorrah wasn't, oh, isn't a um fight uh, much of a fighter underwater, so Ellie King had the advantage. But as you know, Ray from the controller of Gomorrah returned him to the Battleizer, otherwise known as this, and yeah, and um took returned him to safety. Next fight, they were on the ground. Gomorrah had the advantage, and Ellie King kind of didn't. And Ellie Gomorrah defeated Ellie King. But not like destroyed him, knocked him out. Ray captured him in the Balnizer and became the th the third monster of his fighting force. Kind of, I don't know exactly, but yeah. Um, yeah, guys, on to sizes. Ellie King, this is the tallest part. He's about as tall as the bottom part of the, of the nasal horn. Um, back to back. Side to side. Uh, yeah, guys, this is a way almost like this thing, but it's still pretty cool. Don't mind letting the paint, like the um, colors gone. I use this guy a lot. Trust me, a lot. Yeah. Um. So yeah, guys, that's it for liking. Next size comparison is another future review I will do. Burning Godzilla. Um, this guy looks a little looks a little bit taller than Gamora by a, a little bit. Just um, he's about as tall. He's way higher compared to the head. Yeah. Yeah, he's way a little bit taller. All right. So side to side oh. and back to back. Oh, so I did it accidentally. It looks like Gamora's taller. But actually, burning is way taller than that. So yeah, guys. Um, I will review these other Godzillas in another episode. All right. Okay. Um. Here's. All right. Next figure. Um. Say bye. -bye. Oops. <laughs> Fell over. Um. Next one is another future. <laughs> All these others are futures. Now I will do. Godzilla 2000. Yes, guys. Um, here we go. Um, Godzilla 2000. Gomorrah is a little bit taller than um God uh, 2000 here. Comparing, like, see, he's way a little bit. They're almost the same size. I can't tell that much, but I think I can. Um, yeah. Um, back to back. And side to side. It does look like 2000 is is a little bit is taller than Gomorrah, but yeah, guys, it's not true that much in bat in figure form, but probably m movie and show form. Oh, I don't even know. Um, yeah, guys. If you guys hear barking, I'm sorry that it's my dog. I don't know. I hope you guys don't hear him. But anyway, next figure. Here. Say goodbye. And the final um figure to size comparison with is my another my second favorite figure in my collection. And another review in the future will be Godzilla. 
1975. 50th anniversary edition. And yes, guys, here they are. This is what I call the butt. These two are like partners, fighters. Especially, it looks like this, a scene from. I will even make a scene from Godzilla and his amazing friends. Well, and Gomorrah and Godzilla shake hands. But on another time, we'll do talk about all this later. But size comparisons. Um, it looks like these two are exactly the same height. Like Godzilla looks like he's a t wee bit taller, side to side. Um, and back to back. Sorry. There we go. Um, yeah, guys. Um, this. Alright, and that's basically about it for size comparisons. Say bye bye. Alright, guys. Um, for now, for finishing off on. Finishing up on Gamora. Um, there's nothing actually I have to say less, but he is a great monster, great, um, defender, I would call, <laughs> in the show, he's a defender, kind of, um, on the wiki, it does say that he is only 40 meters tall, which kind of sucks, I feel bad for him when Godzilla is like four, three, four hundred feet tall, but his entire, like, his total size is, like, his tail is five, for another 500 feet long. Um, he's about 900 feet tall, kind of. Uh, I don't know exactly, but that's my math for you. Yeah, guys, um, but if they did make a, um, a certain, like, episode or movie about Godzilla and Gomorra, um, Gomorra, and that would just be amazing. I would just, like, flip. Because that would just be awesome. Like, seeing the Prince of the Monsters versus the King of the Monsters. We all know how that would end up. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, I, I hope you guys like this review. Um, this We will have more future reviews. And soon I will do a video of my face. Not today. Not today. Because I'm doing camera doesn't mean I'm doing it today. <laughs> and you guys um remember from the last up video you know, dine um dine I know friends right yeah dino friends um that I don't think there will be intros and outros for this kind of review series because when I went on the video editor it didn't show my ultra galaxy video which I used on camera um yeah guys um that. I think, and I will show you guys part of my house, maybe. I don't think I will, because parents. Yeah, um, and let's now finish it off by showing off the last of the, um, figures that we used in our size. Gamora 1. Ella King. Burning. Two thousand and nineteen seventy five. Oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Um, that's basically it for today. Um, guys, it feels so different being on camera. <laughs> I hope, hope I did. I hope you guys think I did all right. This is my first time actually doing it on camera. If I did something wrong. Don't blame me. It, it's just nervousing. No, not nervousing. It's just nervous. Sorry, I can't English. It's just been a little nervous using camera. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's basically it for today. Um, yeah. Um, so remember to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Instagram account. Ch smack that like button if you love these videos more. And always remember to stay epic. And I remember, I will see you in the next video. And remember, Hail.
your prince. Bye-bye!